Hello students and other people that are watching this video who are not my students. You're also welcome, but I don't know who you are. So I hope you're nice. The Neolithic Revolution. Such is the topic for today. And that's where we're going to begin. So the Neolithic Revolution, not as exciting as a revolution where we're fighting and doing all these other things. Um, well, according to some people, at least. The Neolithic Revolution, though, is, in fact, quite exciting and really shapes our planet and results in who we are today. So it's wicked important, super important. And without it, we wouldn't have civilizations. And without it, we wouldn't have ancient civ class. And without it, well, I guess I wouldn't. I, I, I don't know what I'd do for a job. Oh, that'd be sad. All right. So the Neolithic Revolution mostly happens. Uh, it happens all over the world. But it's centered around something known as the Fertile Crescent. And this is really where we have these big uh, changes happening. Not to say that it doesn't happen everywhere else, but especially for this class, we're going to focus on areas around here. So the Fertile Crescent, it kind of looks like a kind of sideways C if you tilt your head to the right a little. It looks like a C. Um, goes from Egypt all the way to, uh, well, up through what's today Israel. It uh, goes through I guess the south parts of Turkey and all the way to the Persian Gulf. So what's happening in the Fertile Crescent? Why is this map important to you today? Good question. Well, so we, we've been looking at these hunter-gatherer tribes, and these tribes are part of the Paleolithic era. And the Paleolithic era is this Stone Age. Well, the Neolithic era, the Neolithic era is the New Stone Age. And in the New Stone Age, we also have some beginnings of metal. Yes, metal is good. Uh, but really, we're changing the way people are living from shelters that are fairly temporary. Uh, they're not going to last too long. If you look at this one, it's made out of tall grass. Uh, and we, our jobs are, once again, hunters and gatherers. We're changing from this lifestyle, this way of life, into something a bit more different. Farming. So the biggest change, well, there's two big changes. But one of the biggest changes from the Paleolithic era, the Stone Age, to the New Stone Age, the Neolithic era, is the beginnings of agriculture. And agriculture is the planting and harvesting of crops. So we have people that are beginning to, instead of just pick whatever they can find, they start really changing their environment to plant what they want and grow what they want. So we start having fields and farms. And with that, since this looks like tiring work, uh, we have domestication of animals. So domesticating or domestication of animals is really the idea that you're changing and having animals live with you. Instead of animals being wild, they are now domesticated. They are under your control. There's not a lot of animals that can do this. On Tuesday, if you have are watching this on Monday, tomorrow we're going to look at domestication of animals. If you're watching this after Tuesday, well, you already know all about this, so good job. So we now have farming and domestication of animals. And with farming we also start domesticating crops. So we start changing the way crops grow. If you look at this image here, we have wheat. So wheat, we get great things out of wheat. Uh, if you enjoy bread, bread comes from wheat. If you look on the far left, that's wild wheat. That's how wheat originally looked. So when it was out in the wild. And as humans started uh, fiddling with it, and what you essentially they start cross-pollinating and uh, getting different types of wheat that they want. So you start growing really wheat in the way that you want. You start controlling its growing times and its growing environments. And as humans started going down the road, wheat started getting bigger and bigger. And they do this with a lot of crops. Instead of wild things, which are very small, 
Uh, once humans start domesticating it and growing it and controlling its growing, then it starts getting larger. And with larger crops, so instead of that wild wheat over there, which probably takes a lot to make some bread, the far right doesn't take as much. So we start having way more food. The amount of food that humans are producing uh, is much, much greater. And that's just the crops that are being grown, but also the amount of animals. So not only are uh, crops being grown, but the cattle and pigs and sheep are being domesticated, and now humans have a fairly steady supply of meat. Uh, as we know, animals don't just provide meat, they can provide all sorts of other things, uh, leather from the cattle, uh, wool from the sheep. So humans are starting to get more uh, resources from their animals, more resources from the crops and plants. And not to say that all of this is resulting in great things for all humans, um, we have a lot of problems that are evolving, um, namely because since people aren't moving around, they start creating permanent settlements. And permanent settlements can look something like this. We're going to look at this on Wednesday or Thursday, probably Thursday. And we have these massive settlements of people. Instead of a few dozen people living together, now we have hundreds of people, thousands of people living in one environment. And certainly socially, it's going to change how people interact. Um, it's going to change how diseases are being spread as we have more people living in one space. Um, since you're you're not you're really stuck to one food that's being grown the actually their diets are getting worse so instead of getting a lot of different types of foods and nuts and berries uh, humans are relying on just simply what's grown and, and what's harvested so diets are going down um, and we have all sorts of other problems especially with how the social structure changes and instead of a lot of equality in these societies uh, it really starts to go down. But we're not going to get into that just yet. That will be the video for Wednesday night. That will be due on Friday. So, the Neolithic Revolution, the new Stone Age. Times are a-changing and people are a-settling. <laughs>